I want to show you how using a high-speed workflow can also make things faster and easier for you. So we want to talk about what's post-image capture. So what I've got here is I've got two machines um, that are two 17-inch uh, Max Core i5 machines. Basically, they're identical, bought them at the same time. And what I've done with this one is I've taken the hard drive out and I've put a 256 gigabyte crucial solid state disk drive in here. I've also taken the RAM and added an additional four gigabytes of Crucial DRAM. So Crucial and Alexa are both part of Micron, we're all one company, and what we're showing today is how we can help the photographer all the way through the workflow, whether it's shooting, editing, downloading, whatever it might be, and even backing up, and I'll show you that. So, I wanna show you these two machines in comparison to show you how you can save up to like an hour and a half a day in editing time. So here's the thing, we got two machines here, I wanna start both of these at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the power switch at the same time, and you'll see that we're gonna boot up here. And again, the difference on this machine is this has a 256 gigabyte uh, solid state drive. And for those of you who aren't familiar with an SSD or a solid state drive, it's basically like taking a large compact flash card. It's all flash memory. So there's no motor to spin up. There we go, we're up and running. It's really, really quick. And you'll see our other machine over here, we're still waiting for it to boot. Again, time is money. Okay, now, so we have these. Now I wanna show you, again, last year we shot with different speed cards. I wanna show you the download with the same thing. So in this machine here, I'm gonna take a, our 16 gig 200X card, put it into our USB reader. Now, USB inherently has some limitations that you don't see with some of the faster devices like this here. This is our express card. Reader. This one here can move well over 100 megabytes per second. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the, the card in here. Both of these cards have uh, 44 raw images shot with my Canon 5D Mark II. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a bit of a head start. So I'm gonna open up this. I'm gonna go ahead and move those 44 images, copying them to the hard drive. And on this machine, I'm gonna take those same 44 images and copy it to our solid state drive. And you will see a huge difference. Even though we gave this a head start, you look at this machine, it's flying past it. So this one's now done, this one's still halfway through. Even again, though we started this one late. So again, that's showing high-speed cards and high-speed readers. Now, let's take it a step further. We want to have, a, we spend a lot of our time as photographers editing. So what I've done is I've created a Photoshop script. Creates an additional layer, adds an unsharp masked layer, converts the image to LAB and then back to COYMK and then saves it as a TIFF file. Fairly standard kind of thing. So let's go ahead and run that same script here with four images. I don't want to do hundreds because it would kill you, it would take you too long. But I'm going to just show four images and show you the difference. So again, we'll give this machine a head start. And you'll notice when it's loading Photoshop here, it takes a standard amount of time that it launches the application. It takes a little while. Let's give that one a long head start. Now let's go over to this machine, and I'm gonna do the same thing with four images. And we're gonna drag that over to my Photoshop droplet here. Watch how fast Photoshop loads. It's noticeably different. Again, that's because we have increased DRAM and it's coming off a solid state drive. So as we're processing these four images, you're gonna see that even though we gave this one a good 30 second head start, that this machine will absolutely blow it away and be done in about one third the amount of time as the machine with a standard hard drive. Now, again, I mentioned that time is money. Do you think about how much time photographers are editing versus shooting? I mean, we'd rather be creating so as we say, more time creating and less time wasting. I mean, or waiting, waiting or wasting. So I mean, this is really what it's all about is spending less time editing, trying to do it really quick and efficiently. What I love is I put a solid state drive in my machine at home. What I love is the fact that it boots faster, it also wakes up faster, but I spend less time actually doing this. Everything's snapping that it didn't do before. Now one other thing I wanna show you, if we come back over here and we look, you'll see that we have the same image being processed here. This one here is already converting to CYMK and getting ready to save the file. Whereas our machine, which we gave it the head start here, is still on the first layer and still working on that. It hasn't even gotten to the CYMK yet. Huge difference. Now, something else I want to talk about is your data. So obviously if we're shooting, our images are important to us, you want to make sure they're backed up. We have a product called the Echo ZE Backup Drive. It's this little tiny thing. I don't even know if you can see it here. 
that tiny little thing, we call this a plug and stay USB device. And this stays in my machine all the time. I put it in my camera bag with this. This, believe it or not, is 32 gigabytes. So I have it automatically backing up uh, whatever folders I've told it to back up. In this case, it might be my favorites or my favorite picks from a particular shoot. They're backing up to that little device. It's encrypted, which is great, because God forbid if someone were to take it, they're not going to get my files. That's all done automatically. So this shows how, with Lexar and Crucial, we help you all the way through the process, whether it's shooting, downloading, working on your images, backing up your images, all with our products. And this is what we do better than anybody else.